Okay, let's take a live look. We haven't done this for a few days, but uh, it's worthy to note that the Dow is down, although it's coming off some of the lows. Down 118 about 12 minutes into the day's trading. A lot of this has to do with the tech sector. Uh, to my point, Amazon alone, the stock dropped a whopping 10%. Uh, overnight in trading, and uh, there is a lot of pressure on the tech side. Not a lot of good news on inflation, and also uh, we had uh, more bad news about the economy actually contracting. Hasn't done that in a couple of years. We will, of course, stay on top of the numbers for you throughout the morning. Let's keep it on the business side, though, because yes, we've experienced and lived through the great resignation, and yeah, now we are witnessing the great migration back to the office as more bosses are saying to their subordinates, come on back. But it doesn't mean that everybody's on board. Credible.com personal finance expert Dan Ricardo is back with us on this Friday with tips on how to navigate the new work environment. Good morning to you, sir. Great to see you. What's up, Scott? Time to get out of those footy pajamas, head back to work. Yeah, you know, what's interesting is, you know, Anita and I, we've been here in the building, you know, th through the entire pandemic. A lot of our coworkers were just starting to see come back into the building. And I got to admit, for a lot of folks, it, it's, it's a bit, uh, there's a lot of trepidation because you don't quite know what to expect, right? No question. Daughter number two got called back a couple of weeks ago and they're doing it in, in phases, a couple of days a week. And it's a big change for a lot of folks. And um, some people aren't too happy about it. So this has changed the workplace forever, Scott, in ways that we probably don't even understand yet. Yeah. So, you know, uh, we're folks at home are looking at that little graphic along the side. Um, yeah. If you do have to go back, if the boss says, come on back, is it this a point where you can say, well, hold on a minute. Can I maybe do this a few days a week? Yeah, first of all, um, ask for, you know, as you just said, ask for some flexibility. Now's the time to ask with the labor shortage. Workers are in pretty good shape right now when it comes to asking for things like that. Maybe even negotiate a little bit of extra compensation because it's going to be a lot more expensive for you to go back, Scott. As you know, everything's more expensive today than it was two years ago. Maybe apply for that remote job within the same company. So. If you really don't want to go back five days a week, there might be some alternatives. You bring up a great point, uh, especially when it comes to the fact that we think going back to the office is going to be just business as usual for our budgets, but yeah. not so. I know just for one example, here in Chicago, we pay some of the highest parking rates in the nation. So what's your advice to our viewers with regard to saving a little dough? Yeah, I remember paying those parking tariffs in Chicago. You guys are getting killed. Yeah. Um, revise your budget. You know, take a look at what might be able to, you can tweak around a little bit. Maybe instead of bringing, uh, buying the lunch every day, you pack the lunch. And hey, folks, in your kitchen, there's probably something called a coffee maker. You haven't used it in a while. <laughs> Break it out. Now's the time. Brew your own. You'll save about 900 bucks a year versus buying a cup of coffee every morning. And maybe even using that great Chicago public transport system as well. Yeah, and, and before we let you go, I, you know, for a, a while, we thought that it was the employees that sort of had the leg up on the boss, but there's still no. value. So if you want to, I guess, negotiate a schedule, what's your advice? You just said it best, the V word, value. Focus the conversation on your value to the employer and that you can do that from virtually anywhere, right? That, that's really the core of the conversation that you want to have with the employer your value and how you can do that value, how you can deliver that value from kind of anywhere you choose. He's a friend of the working man and woman and a friend to us here on Good Day. Dan Ricotta with Credible.com. Always a pleasure, sir. We'll see you next week.